In relatively recent years, calisthenics has become a new discovery for me. It's also become a new love. In this video, I'm gonna show you three beginner's moves, three intermediate moves with regressions, and also with regressions, three advanced moves. First of all, what is calisthenics? These beginner's moves will provide a good base to build strength and awareness and with time and practice will allow you to move on to more intermediate moves and then maybe even on to the more difficult but super satisfying and impressive to your friends advanced moves. Almost anyone can start with these, a great exercise to build strength in the chest, shoulders and triceps and if done correctly will be good for the mobility of the shoulder and wrist joints. Place the palms of your hands on a bench, fingers facing forward, bend the elbows, lower the body straight down, staying close to the bench and push back up. Feet closer to the bench for an easier option, keep elbows and shoulders back and lift the chest. Let's make sure we don't neglect the legs. If we perform a good range of exercises with good range of motions, our mobility and flexibility can and will improve with calisthenics. And that's mainly why I love this particular exercise. It gives us a good stretch and opening up of the hip, an often tight area in lots of people. Place the balls of one foot up on a bench with the other foot a big step forward. Bend the back knee down and towards the floor. Try not to lean forward, keep the chest up, perform 10 to 20 reps and repeat on the other leg. A classic with many possible variations. Just think about different angles. The basic rule of thumb is the higher the hands are in relation to the feet or the knees, the easier the exercise. Use bars, benches or steps to vary difficulty. Feet up higher than the hands for more difficult. For a real challenge, try a pike press up. Although because of the change of angle at the torso, this will place more emphasis on the shoulders and the triceps. The main reason I love this exercise, unlike the full pull-up, it will focus more on mid-traps and rhomboids. Important areas to offset the tightness of the chest, which most people have. So this one therefore can be great for the posture. Plus it also builds grip strength, which is needed for many other calisthenics moves. The more horizontal you are, the harder it is. Think about lifting the chest up to the bar, squeeze the shoulders back and down. The pistol squat is such a tough, challenging exercise, I'm going to take you through an assisted version. Pass off to anyone who can do the full version unassisted. Hardcore. Place one foot by the side of a sturdy upright and hover the other foot off the floor. Bend the standing leg and squat down, allowing the knee to travel forward. Use the upright as much as you need. Option is to use the other foot for extra assistance. This one doesn't need an intro. Once again, think about lifting the chest up to the bar and drive the elbows down towards the floor. Resistance bands can be used for assistance in order to build up strength. Or use a step, jump for the concentric phase or the up phase, and lower with control for the eccentric phase, otherwise known as negative reps.
Looks impossible, but here are a couple of moves to help get you there. The main aim of this exercise is to work on the obliques, lats and shoulder depressors of the top arm. Pull the arm down into the rib cage, push away with the other arm to lift the body out to the side. This one with time will strengthen the push of the bottom arm. Bend the knees, take the feet up behind and hold. Once you start to get more comfortable, you can start to work on that push from the bar. These two exercises do feature in my five moves to human flag, so please check out that video. I'm gonna put this one in the advanced category and although you need good strength to hold the body up, it's more a challenge of skill. The brain is not used to being upside down and having to balance on the hands, so it will take time to get used to it. And it's basically just lots and lots of practice. Kicking up against the wall is always a good start point. Beginning with your back to the wall, you can progressively move your hands closer to the wall, which as you get closer will help to focus on better alignment through the body. Perhaps an even better method for working on alignment is to face the wall. This is more challenging, but once you are strong enough to get into the position and confident enough to get out, it will be a beneficial drill. Other drills to help would be the pipe press up, which we saw earlier, and the crow or the frog stand. Okay, this one technically requires equipment, but as you've already seen, calisthenics can require bars. We can also use gym rings, so that's why I'm including this one. It's a full body movement, which especially works the abs and core hard. The full version is definitely one of the hardest exercises I do. It gives me doms in the abs for days after doing it. Be sure to keep a posterior pelvic tilt to keep the abs tight throughout the movement. Again, with this one, negative reps help to build up strength. A wall or stopper can also be used. Down on the knees is the simplest version of the exercise. I have done a video covering this named how to get a strong torso. So please check that one out. Thanks for watching. I hope the content in this video was useful, whichever level you are currently at and whichever level you hope to attain in the future. If you did enjoy this video and it was useful, then please like and subscribe to the channel where you might find more useful content. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.